All right, time to finish the final story. We're just venties. Claim key and unlock venti. All right, let's see where venti is. In adventuring, as in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. Also, I did a summon the other day, and I got my boy. <coughs> Me and my friends all summoned and we... I think... Yeah, my brother got also d Luke. so... Ooh, boy. I'm happy with my d Luke. Level... I think he's... He should be the same level as Keishin, so level 70, my boy. Looking slick. Right now, I just... The only one I just need to... Oh, actually, I actually have to do Venti and Fish also. And then my team is complete. Incoming! Hey, look over there! She's all by herself, right? Because uh, she's acting as if she's talking and laughing with somebody else. Uh, Paimon's creeped out. <laughs> I heard imaginary friends too when I was a kid. What? You mean you used to act like that too? Uh, so is this an invisible friend who hangs out with you sometimes? Or do they just exist in your imagination? <laughs> Imagine imaginary means in your imagination. Imaginary. Imagination. Oh, you must mean imagined friend, right? Imagined Why friend. Why don't you just say so? So this imaginary friend of yours, when does Paimon get to meet them? <laughs> They're invisible now. Seriously? <laughs> so imaginary friends just disappear when you grow up? Tragically, yes. Oh, Paimon was looking forward to meeting yours. Hey, don't <laughs> suppose your brother has an imaginary friend too? You mean my sister? <laughs> sure, they do. No way! You guys are so lucky! Because they have this game in Liyue. Have you heard of it? It's a four-player game, but it seems you guys could play it with just the two of you. <laughs> oh, Traveler. Fancy meeting you here. Well, well, well. Ah, oh, Tone Deaf Bard. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because Lisa has been making some exciting new contraptions. Oh? Uh, why does the thought of Lisa's contraptions make Paimon so nervous? <laughs> Come now, that's no way to speak about the elegant Miss Lisa. For this particular contraption, Lisa had to import some dangerous materials from Sumeru. D Sumeru? Dangerous? A monocle equipped it with some sort of detector? That's right. Looks like a monocle, but actually it's called an Ernama detector. Hmm. Sadly, Lisa isn't able to use it herself, so I'm borrowing it for a while. And also, I'm testing it out for her to see if it actually works. Huh? Why can't Lisa use it? Hmm... Perhaps it's because she lacks a certain childlike sense of wonder. Or maybe there's some other reason for it. Hmm. If you want to know for sure, just ask her yourself sometime. So you can see them? Go on, tell us. What does his imaginary friend look like? <laughs> that would be telling. Anyway, it's all yours <laughs> now, Traveler. Take a look. See if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. Whoa. Do you see him? Do you see him? Wow, it really works. So it's like a ghost huh, detector? So it does work for you too. Paimon wants to see? Wait, but this gizmo isn't in Paimon's size. Alright then, you'll just have to be Paimon's eyes on the ground. Let's go see what everyone's imaginary friends look like. I think it's like a ghost detector. You should be trapped in a windless <laughs> land. Shabbily seems kind of floaty headed, you know? Paimon bets she has an imaginary friend. Wait, can I see it through eagle eye or do I have to actually... No. Hey, Flora, you got an imaginary friend? There what it the is! Heck? Behold, a floaty imaginary friend for floaty-headed Flora! A bloaty floaty! Wait, imaginary friends can be plants now? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Traveler! Hi, Bard. Flora, can I ask a question? Sure. How can I help? Who's your friend? Hmm. Oh, you mean Mr. Floaty? Most people can't see him, 
Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. We grew up together. Mm, no fair. Paimon hates feeling left <laughs> out. Flora, why exactly are you friends with a bloaty floaty? What's wrong with it? I always wanted to be friends with a plant who could fly. Friends with a flying plant? Why? <laughs> because then when it's windy, you and your friend can fly off into the sky together. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. Isn't that called being <laughs> blown away? <laughs> That's what some people like to call it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. I think his name was... Uh, Stanley. Ah, Stanley. I heard the rumors. Stanley's an adventurer. And you can tell he's an expert at it from the stories he tells. <laughs> the amazing adventures of Stanley are super famous in Mondstadt. <laughs> he's in the city at the moment. You should go ask him to tell you some of his stories. Ooh, that maybe sounds I will. like a fun idea for next time. But uh, right now we have other things to attend to. Ah, I kind of want to meet him. Flora's a pretty mysterious kid. <laughs> hmm, which child shall we interrogate next? Paimon's thinking. Oh, how about that little guy on the bridge? Okay. Catch him all! Ah, uh, yeah, I got some. Whoa! <laughs> no way! <laughs> well, uh, that is unexpected. <laughs> a sentinel? Damn. Amy's imaginary friend is a ruins guard? I heard of the guardian angels, but come Paimon's on. Paimon's freaking out right now. That thing is sure to attack us. <laughs> it's a ghost, bro. Uh, uh, what say you? We postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being. Paimon, it's time huh? to see the line. Paimon has a favorite line? The one about exploring the area ahead of us uh, later? Seriously? Oh, alright then. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? <laughs> Are more open Sorry, Timmy, you kill all your birds. Is that why they can think up all kinds of imaginary friends? Ah, <sighs> fitting, isn't it? That the city of freedom should be home to children with such boundless powers of imagination. What about adults' imaginations? Let's ask uh -oh. the adults at the tavern. That's not good, my <laughs> mom. <laughs> she didn't question an adults' imagination. <laughs> Is that inside? Shop in the Oh, right here. Well, look at this. The thing about wine is, you have to drink it at the tavern, or you miss out on half the fun. <laughs> Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. Just drink responsibly on my premises, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? Throw you out? You know, the same way you threw out Father's legacy. You uh -oh. sold off his mansion, or maybe you've forgotten. Are they brothers? I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. Hmm. Is that so? Then I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase? Sorry. I have no recollection. That's odd. Because Master Diluc definitely has a vase at home. A beautiful one. Unmistakable, in fact. Hmm. No, they don't got they got nothing. Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Well, like I said, a lack of childlike wonder. Seems that uh, seems adults are the same everywhere. So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon for one never wants to grow up. <laughs> hmm, this raises an interesting question. At what age exactly do people's imaginary friends disappear? Hmm. Let's go and check. Yeah, okay. Hmm. How about Ellen? Someone of her age surely must have some imagination left, don't you think? Uh-oh. Somehow, Paimon finds the idea of not being able to see Ellen 
Sam's imaginary friend kind of scary. <laughs> I think Dayluke and uh, Kaya might have just grown up together instead of being brothers, but... Like orphans? Kind of thing? But oh well. Oh, gotta think about that later. Ah, Ellen! Oh, Gene? The hell? Gene? What is Gene doing here? Is Master Gene Ellen's imaginary friend? Ellen is a consistuous child. So she's so determined to become a knight that she... Okay, that's kind of weird. Hmm? <laughs> oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you <coughs> always training here? You bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> Damn. I, I mean, obviously, I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself? Well, even better. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. Nothing wrong with that. Huh. Thanks. I was thinking, it's not every day I get to hang out with the honorary knight. Would you join me for some sword training? Uh, another one, How okay. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? How the heck? Uh, do this. So that's <laughs> how to do it. I'm impressed. Yeah, just use your ult. <laughs> Thank you. It's clear I still have a long way to go in my training. <laughs> so modest. I, for one, think you're quite the pro at this already. Oh. Well, I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day- Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, he'll eat your all. Thanks. Shoot, I got so caught up here I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. Ugh, but I'm so sore from training. I can hardly move. Honorary Knight, could you deliver a message to Jack for me? J Jack? He's a friend of mine, recently started as an adventurer. We were gonna meet up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> could you let him know it'll have to be another day? If I'm not mistaken, you should find him at the Temple of the Lion. He's adventuring with Stanley today. Oh. Stanley's a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. He once set foot in the Mare Javari. Damn, I don't know what that is. Temple of the Lion? Sure, I missed that Great. place. Great! Thank you so much. Hmm. I feel like these names are gonna pop up eventually once the game updates farther. But, for now, it's unknown to us. All the way over there? What the? <sighs> Let's go then. He's in it? <laughs> Sheesh. The Temple of the Lion? Oh, we explored there. this place once before, didn't we? No, I got my During wind the boy. Terror incident. Seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. Looks like we can't go any further. We didn't bag all the loot last time. Those who wander in the dust, the wind shall send soaring sky high. Not to worry, allow me. Tutorial for Venti, huh? We played him once, right? But I think it's only for Storm Terror's boss fight. Oh, you're Stanley. I kind of expect you to be a little cooler. <laughs> I was so sure I was about to die. To be fair, that could have gone either way. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you. Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure together. She'll join you some other time. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find me, and then had to rescue me. <laughs> well, I don't see what all the fuss is about. It was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. 
<laughs> you are Stanley? You are that legendary adventurer? Renowned in all of Mondstadt? Who once set foot in the Mare Javari? <laughs> <laughs> the very same. Damn. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back or head further inside? Stanley, what do you think? <laughs> well, I think you're now in the safe hands of Stanley. The great explorer and legend of Mondstadt. Uh -huh. <laughs> in, which, in which case, why head back now? Okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. <laughs> so, I'm guessing you mostly came here because you wanted to hear my adventure stories. Am I right? No, we really were just looking for Jack. <laughs> what? Alright. Traveler, I believe I've made a small discovery. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? Alright. What the? Huh. What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. It fits Stanley's description of himself. You're saying his imaginary friend is an idealized version of his own self? Interesting idea, but is it true? Please excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. Bye, Stanley. Hmm. Do you two still have time to spare? What is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The Sword of Brilliant Valor and the Shield of Magnificent Honor. Oh. I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently, both the sword and shield are still right here in Mondstadt, over in Dadaupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? Hmm, Stanley seriously owned these, these weapons? You bet! This is Stanley we're talking about. If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, Maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. <laughs> right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited. And my parents don't support my goals one bit. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. But, I hmm. swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Aww, poor Jack. Let's help him out. All right, then. Then to you coming too? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had someone <laughs> fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. Uh, a deal. Gorge, was it? <laughs> Let's hurry, there's no time to lose. <laughs> uh oh. Challenge complete. 